it's always a danger with longevity in show business to become distinguished, especially in the theater, but I never expected it to happen to me. <laughs> Come on, I'm too pretty to be a Lifetime Achievement Award winner. I thanked him for his help, and he shyly said, do you have any advice for a young actor? And I laughed because there's rarely a short answer to that question. I've tried to give a satisfying answer to that question so many times and in so many ways over the years, and they all started bouncing around in my head. Everything from, if there's anything else you think you could really be happy doing, maybe do that instead. <laughs> to be a professional, do your homework, show up on time, know your lines, come in with lots of ideas and enthusiasm, be open to everything and give 150%, be kind to everyone in the room, be generous with your fellow actors, have a sense of humor, take the work seriously, not yourself, don't read reviews, get lots of sleep, drink plenty of fluids. <laughs> Two show days can get a body down and prednisone can be your friend. <laughs> But nothing ever seems inspiring or incisive enough. I suppose there is no one answer because it's also personal and subjective and ultimately everybody has to find his or her own path. And so finally I just looked him in the eye and said, do you love it? And he said more than anything. And I said, good. Don't ever lose that, and you'll be fine. I wish you all the best, and all the luck in the world. As I wish that to all of you tonight, my eternal thanks to George Scott for that big break, and for reminding me why I do what I do, and how lucky I am to get to do the thing I love so much. And of course, my great thanks to the Theatre World Awards for this beautiful honor. Good night.